I now give the floor to Her Excellency Retno Masudi, Minister for Foreign Affairs of Indonesia. Colleagues, we are confronted with a stark reality and an urgent collective duty to save millions of people who could be affected by sea level rise. Like waves, the impact of sea level rise travels far, exacerbating displacement, affected even landlocked communities while deepening food and economic insecurity. Altogether, this is a global crisis in the making and we need to act now. Allow me to highlight three points. First, we need a bolder climate action in addressing global warming. Therefore, one and a half degree target is non-negotiable. To achieve it, we need equitable burden sharing, not burden shifting. Second, strengthening international cooperation, including on capacity building, technical assistance, and international cooperative measures. We must also advance collective leadership to rally resources, making financing, technology, and capacity scale up and accessible to all. In October 2023, Indonesia the, hosted the first high-level meeting of the Archipelagic and Island States Forum and used the forum as an avenue for greater collaboration including to explore innovative financing mechanism for archipelagic and island states. Third, strengthening political will. This is key to addressing untenable impacts caused by the sea level rise, with ranges from irrevocable irre loss of lands and the disruption of livelihood. Indonesia therefore calls for a dedicated agenda item on sea level rise and a common framework to guide global action and concerted effort to strengthening international legal framework to protect statehood and livelihood, advancing adaptation and resilience strategies, also promoting science and data to drive decision. Colleagues, sea level rise is a global wake up call. Do not hit the snooze button. Instead, let us act decisively and safeguard the lives of millions and generations to come. I thank you very much.